Hello everyone, my name is John Walker. Some of you may know me as Johnny Walker. I have been a member of Netherwood Park for 67 years. That's right, 67 years, amazing. Uh, my mom and dad were longtime members of Netherwood Park. My dad, Wilburn, was an elder for many years. My mom was a little bitty lady who worked at Orange Julius in Winrock. And uh, she was a bubbly little lady. And wherever she went, for some reason, a domino game broke out. I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you all. And I've been thinking a lot about the struggles we face in life. We all face struggles. Some, some people's struggles are more difficult than others. But we all go through struggles. And I think about how some struggles are more difficult. Like, for example, health struggles. Many people I know at church and around me have struggled with cancer. Very difficult situation. Some of them survived and some of them didn't. I also think about families that I've known around who've developed family problems, uh, problems with their children, uh, problems with money, problems with divorce. And lately there's been a problem with the fact that we are being isolated a lot. Because of this virus, we are isolated in our homes and it's a struggle for some of us to be isolated and not have a, the human contact we need. And lastly, I think some of us deal with mental health issues. On a personal note, I have dealt with anxiety all my life. I remember at six years old being a very anxious child. Uh, I've suffered from depression since the 70s. And uh, it's been a difficult struggle sometimes because we just don't talk about mental health issues at all. So that's a struggle that I've gone through. But on the bright side, it's a struggle I survived. Due to the help of my family, my sweet wife, Judy, my daughter, Tess, my good friends, Larry and Betty, and some neighbors that live around me. They've helped me through this to stay connected with others and with my community. Thinking about that, I thought, how in the world do we get through this, these struggles we have all the time? Well, I think about a shepherd. I would like to call him the good shepherd. I think of him as Jesus. I think of him as the Holy Spirit. And uh, I think about how the shepherd leads, leads us through these struggles we go through. The Psalms have always been a comfort to me. I always go to them when I need to be, to have a pick me up, to make me feel like it's going to be okay. So there's one Psalms in particular that is very meaningful to me, and it's the 23rd Psalms. I have a family connection to that because my mother grew up telling me that every time she had an operation, she would recite the 23rd Psalms as they put her under for her surgery. And that comes to light to me in February I had my knee replaced. And I remember Opal, and she's saying, John, think about the 23rd Psalms. So this is what the 23rd Psalm says. You are true to your name. Lead me along right paths. I may walk through valleys as dark as death, but don't be afraid. You are with me, and your shepherd's rod and staff make me feel safe. Just a little side note on the shepherds 
rod and staff. According to the Hebrew, the shepherd's rod and staff were with the shepherd all the time to help him tend to the sheep. And the rod was used to ward off danger like wild animals and things like that. But the staff was to gently persuade the sheep where the shepherd wants them to go. So this is very meaningful because I feel like, how did I get through the struggles? Or how did anybody get through the struggles? And I have to really think that it has to be the good shepherd. The good shepherd leading us the path that he wants us to go and with the rod there to protect us along the way. This is very comforting to me. I really love that whole thought of a shepherd protecting me. So where do we go in the end? After we go through all of our struggles and at the end of our life, what promise do we have? I turn to Matthew. And Matthew says in the 28th chapter, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So as we go through our daily struggles, our life struggles, we need to remember that there's a good shepherd with us all the way to protect us, to lead us, to point us in the direction we should go. And in the end, we don't have to worry. All the hurt will be gone. All the pain will be gone because the good shepherd loves us and wants us to lead us where we want to go. Thank you very much for listening to me and I hope you have a safe week.